It's Software Sunday, let's take a look at Monster Mash. Alright guys, how's it going? A very quick video for a Sunday evening, it's nearly Monday, but shh, don't tell anybody. But before I even start the video, there's a question here on YouTube I would like to address. Is there no way to set up a shortcut for Bisect? I seem to be using it a lot lately and I can't figure this out. Of course there is mate. What I'll do here is I'll quickly jump into Blender, I'll go into Edit Mode, and the bisect actually falls underneath the knife tool, so if I go to the knife tool, hold it in, right click on the bisect, you can see here assign a shortcut, I'll make it something silly like Control alt and p Let's select all of the polygons, Control alt and p and I can now do a quick bisect. And let's just test it out, make sure it's working. Yep, there you go, hope that helps. Now, let's go back to Monster Mash because I know you're desperate to see this. <laughs> Now, on the grand scale of life, Monster Mash is just a fun tool to be honest, but it does have a little bit of potential. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go to New. Now what we can do here is we can draw on the canvas, but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import a template image. Now this essentially acts very similar to a texture. So what I can do here is I can quickly draw. Now I'm using the mouse, so I apologise Bob Ross, I do apologise. And I'm just going to quickly draw out something like this. In fact, I don't even know what I'm drawing, I'm just making this up as I go along, let's be honest. Like 90% of my tutorials. <laughs> so I have this basic shape. And the next thing I can do is I can hit Inflate, and you can see here it actually projects the texture onto the object while inflating. Pretty cool to be honest. Now when it comes to the animation, ah, it's more of a gimmick at the moment, but what you can do is you can create pins, kind of like Photoshop. You can hit record and you can animate these pins so you get something like this. Oh, that looks bad. <laughs> now, the reason I says it's a little bit of a gimmick, I need to pause that, that's seriously distracting, is because you can't export out an OBJ sequence or an FBX with animation. It literally only exports out a still frame. But it does have a lot of potential. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the export options and I'm going to export out the current animation. Let's just call this... Dude, now just be careful, your browser might say you need to download multiple files and the reason for this is because it's got an MTL file and it exports out the texture image as well. So once we're happy we can quickly jump back into Blender, let's go to object mode in traditional fashion, let's delete this default cube and let's go to file, import, wavefront object, let's select our object, Dude. Now just to quickly test what I'll do is I'll select the object, I'll go into the shading tab and I can add in an image texture. Let's see if it's been correctly UV'd. I'll open up the texture image, and I believe it was this one. Let's just pipe this in. Cool. Check that out. I now have a nice inflated object. <laughs> now, like I said, I don't know how you could probably use this, but what you could do is you could maybe go to the physics tab. You could add in something like cloth. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come up all the way down to field weights, and I'm going to put gravity off. I'll then come to something like pressure, we'll put the pressure up to maybe 5. Let's go back, let's hit play, and we get something like this. Let's put the pressure right up. <laughs> so that is pretty much Monster Mash. I do apologise, it's not the best thing you're ever going to see, but it is pretty cool. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on all the social media platforms, too many to mention these days. You know what to do. Take care.